Good morning. My name is Jim Rosenbaum. I have the honor to introduce the speaker who just coincidentally has the same last name as I do. The speaker, of course, is Lisa Rosenbaum, who happens to be my daughter. There's a Yiddish word, nachas, that describes the joy that one derives from the accomplishments of one's children. My wife and I have raised two daughters, both of whom are physicians. They are each a source of nachas. This morning, the spotlight is on Lisa, and I will briefly outline her career trajectory. Lisa was born in Palo Alto, about 35 miles south of San Francisco. She graduated from public high school in Portland, Oregon, where coincidentally, I had graduated 30 years before. She attended Stanford, where she was a scholar athlete. She did graduate studies in creative writing at Columbia University in New York City, received her MD from UCSF, thank you Dave Wofsey for accepting both my children, did her internal medicine at the Mass General, and then cardiology at Cornell. She did an internship at the New England Journal of Medicine, followed by a Robert Wood Johnson Fellowship at Penn. She is currently a, an assistant professor at Harvard Medical School, Brigham and Women's Hospital, and the national correspondent for the New England Journal. Her writings on subjects like duty hours, conflict of interest, CAR T cells, teamwork, or the rewards of being a physician have appeared in the NEJM nearly 50 times, along with a half dozen or so podcasts. She has also published in the New York Times, JAMA, and she was the editor for the online edition of The New Yorker, where she has published numerous times as well. My favorite essays include How Much Would You Give to Save a Dying Bird, or The Downside of Doctors Who Feel Your Pain, Our Heart and Soul, with soul referring to a portion of the foot and not your psyche. Try reading Being Like Mike, Fear, Trust, and the Tragic Death of Michael Davidson Without Crying. Some of you might not know, some of you might not know Lisa's name, but if you read the NEJM, you almost certainly know her writing. So, I should be very proud of my daughter, but I am not. My father was a rheumatologist, I am a rheumatologist, and Lisa, she is not a rheumatologist. Even worse, my wife is a cardiologist, which means that in my family, I am much like the Democrats in the United States Senate. But I know you're not here to hear my feeble attempts at humor. My wife, myself, and several other family members regret that we cannot join you this morning in person. Please accept our apologies. Thank you for giving Lisa the privilege to share her observations with you.